Hello, I'm Jackie Hanson. And I'm Jackie Green. We're both health visitors working in Hertfordshire for Hertfordshire Community Trust. We've been asked by our trust to talk about our role as health visitors and how our service is organised. So, all health visitors are either qualified midwives or nurses before going on to do a further degree in specialist community public health nursing. Within our team, we have paediatric nurses, midwives, mental health nurses and adult nurses. Health visitors are the lead professionals for the Healthy Child Programme, a national programme covering pregnancy and the first five years of life. We work in local teams and have close links to GPs and children's centres. We provide support, care and encouragement for families in the early years. Our service is divided into four parts, Community, Universal, Universal Plus and Universal Partnership Plus. Our community work involves working together with other organisations including charities, children's centres and local community groups who can provide support for families. The Universal Service is offered to every single family and consists of five contacts with the health visitor. The first contact is in late pregnancy and forms the foundation of the ongoing relationship with the family and the health visitor. During this home visit, we're able to discuss feelings around pregnancy and childbirth and managing life with a new baby, as well as providing the most up-to-date health promotion information. The next visit is the new birth visit from the health visitor between 10 to 14 days after the baby's birth. During the new birth visit, we undertake a thorough review of both baby and mother's health and well-being. We are able to provide breastfeeding support and discuss current feeding guidelines. Research proves that the early weeks, months and years are the most important in a baby's life in terms of their brain development and emotional well-being. Therefore, the key focus of this visit is to support the development of the mum and dad's relationship with their baby. This may involve the parents' own well-being, their relationship, their support networks, as well as taking into consideration the social circumstances and the environment. We know that a new baby can bring many changes and challenges. Around six to eight weeks after the birth, we'll contact the mother to discuss her own emotional well-being and to see if any additional support is needed. As the child grows, we offer two development reviews at around one year and two years of age. These are carried out in partnership with parents, looking at the child's development and health in key areas. Where concerns are recognised, we're able to refer to the appropriate services for further support or assessment. At any time, parents can ask for more support, for example, with behaviour, sleep or feeding issues. Health visitors are available to listen if parents have any worries or concerns or are feeling anxious or down. This extra support comes under the Universal Plus service and families find this additional help so valuable when they're struggling. If the families are also being supported by other agencies, for example, mental health teams, addiction services, children's services, or paediatricians and therapists for children with complex additional needs, this is termed the Universal Partnership Plus service. In all situations, our role is to support the family to meet their child's individual needs and fulfil their potential. Health visitors are skilled at building trust in relationships with families because we know that the most important relationship in a child's life is their relationship with their parents or main caregiver.